WLKY Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. All right, beautiful skies over downtown Louisville right now. Sure beats what we had this morning with that heavy, heavy rainfall causing some flash flooding in spots. But we managed to dry out for the better part of the afternoon. Numbers today, 86 and 74. And check out the rain, 2.33 inches for the date. A new record beating out the old record 141 years ago which, by the way, was 1.41 inches of rain at that time. Outside right now, it's dry, 84 degrees, humidity 65%. west southwesterly breezes still upwards of almost 20 miles an hour. And they feel like, yeah, you can feel that humidity, but that's going to be changing late tonight on into tomorrow morning. Radar scan around Louisville looking great considering all that rain we had, nothing going on. Maybe an isolated rain shower holding just off to the north of Bardstown. Uh, but really, that is just about it. Here's the big picture. No more big rains for our region. The big rainfall, the heavy rain is behind us. We are watching a cold front off to the northwest. Now, as this moves in our direction a little bit later on tonight after midnight, it could generate an isolated shower, perhaps even a flash of lightning or two, but nothing like what we had to the magnitude of last night and this morning. 82 at 7, it's going to be a pretty nice evening, just a little bit on the muggy side. A few passing clouds will settle back into the mid and upper 70s once the sun goes down. All right, just behind that front, those winds kick in from the northwest. The humidities really start to drop off, as do the temperatures. It's a cool 58 in International Falls. That's kind of chilly for the time of year. Below 70 in the Twin Cities. And we're going to get a glancing blow of that cooler air the next couple of days. So let me take you through the night. Here we are right now. No worries. We head through the overnight period. Here comes the front after midnight. A chance for an isolated shower in a few spots. Aside from that, it moves through. We turn quiet in the morning you're going to notice that humidity really starting to drop off and cooler as well. Close to 60 in our northern communities to the middle and upper uh, 60s from near Louisville and points off to the south. And it will get more and more comfortable as the day wears on tomorrow. Any clouds in the morning scour out. Tons of sunshine and those temperatures very, very pleasant. A mix of upper 70s and low 80s. For your Oaks Day, your Friday, 81, the anticipated high in the metro. And as we look beyond tomorrow, head through the long holiday weekend, jet stream will be well off to the north of us. High pressure kind of nudging in from the west, so lots of dry weather in store, low humidity, and temperatures which will be pleasantly warm. 83 Saturday, we're in the mid-80s Sunday, heading into the upper 80s to near 90 by Labor Day itself. Here's our forecast now for the evening. Partly cloudy, still on the muggy side. The 80s will transition back into the 70s once the sun goes down. Uh, there could be a shower after midnight, an isolated shower, but really nothing more than that. Comfortable in the morning. Beautiful middle of the day tomorrow, 75 degrees, going to 81 on your Friday. Two better on Derby Saturday after starting out in the 50s. And for the remainder of your holiday weekend, mid-80s Sunday, close to 90 on Labor Day, and right around 90 Tuesday and Wednesday. Hey, if you want some dry time, we got you covered. Next decent shot at widespread rain, Vicki and Rick is going to hold off until one week from today. Wow. Good chance to dry out. <laughs> nice little drought there. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Jay. Sure.